Hi, my name is Virgil Cook and I'm an online marketing coach and trainer. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, create an, an ad that you can use on Craigslist or probably just about anywhere uh, with Microsoft Word. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, of course, start with a blank screen. We're going to um, start with some text. I'm going to use market online no experience necessary I'm going to make that a little bit bigger center it let's make it Let's see what'll fit in there. 14. Let's make it red. And let's see what bold does to it. Okay, so that's the first line. Second line I'm gonna put motivated individuals only. I'm gonna spell all that correctly. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to take and put a picture in here. Um, so let's go over here to Google. Let's go to Images. And let's just type in Market Online and see what we get. So we're going to be looking for something that's kind of appealing but not too aggressive um, let's see we're gonna want try to find somebody that's that's got some people in it that's um, I don't see anything down here How about this one here? So all you gotta do is just copy the image. You don't have to save it to anything. We're gonna go back over here to our Microsoft Word and we're just gonna paste it right in there. Now you're gonna wanna um, resize this. So it kind of fits in, raise it up a little bit. To move it, you need to go to page layout. Now you might have a, an older version, might have different, these might be in different spots, or you might have a newer vi version that, of Microsoft Word that it's also in a different position, but this is basically one, what you want to do is you want to look for the tight. Click on tight, okay. That allows you to move the, the picture around. So we're just going to raise it up here a little bit. And then we're going to go down below it, and we're going to, um, let's see, what do we want to put there? Let's, uh, let's see, what's our title? Market Online, No Experience Necessary. Let me pause this for a second, let me figure out what I'm going to do here. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, I'm back. So, let's put the... Uh, we're... looking for professionals to join our team. make that a little bit bigger as well maybe 14 okay now we're gonna go back to Google images and we're gonna get 
get us a red arrow. We're going to have it pointing to the right. So let's look at, uh, see what we got here. Mm -hmm. How about, about this one? So let's copy that one. And then go back over here to our picture. Let's just plop her right in there. My computer looks like it's taking its time this morning. Try this again. There we go. Now, I'm going to resize that. It's kind of big for what we're looking for. So let's take it like that. Copy that. Let's put another, another one right over here. Okay, now we want to move this just like we did the one before. Position tight and then we can move this over we need to do the same thing here okay Put another one over here. Just like that. Something like that. So then we come down here. We're going to be wanting to. Um, we're going to be wanting to get a button. So let's go get us a red click here button. And let's see. This one looks pretty good. Let's just grab it. So we'll copy that. Back over here to our deal. Let's uh, paste it right there. Now again, we're going to need to shrink her down to fit the picture. And we're going to need to move it. So let's go back to here do this again. There. So that's got our picture pretty much looking like the way we want it. Now the trick to this is you're going to go to uh, Jing. If you don't have Jing just uh, um, Google it, download it, it's free. Unless you get the pro versions, only fourteen ninety five a year. So you're gonna take a, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Then you're gonna capture the image. And then what I do is I'm gonna put a frame around it. And I'm going to make it, uh, let's do red. So we're going to take just like this. And there you got your frame. And we're just going to save it to our desktop. We're going to call it something like, uh, let's see, what are we doing? Mark it online. I can spell. And 
save it. So now we've got a copy of that picture on our desktop. So let's go see what we've got. Again, my computer is slow this, today, so bear with me. So there's what your your picture is going to look like. Now, right now, it's not clickable or anything like that because uh, we haven't uploaded it anywhere yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. We're going to go to Photo Bucket. Uh, if you don't have Photo Bucket, you can also download that. That's free also. What we're going to do is we're going to click on Upload here. And we're going to take that, upload that picture. <laughs> so we're going to select photo or video from from our desktop. Where I, where I put it, it's this one right here, and we're going to upload it. You get the advertisements while you you wait. Okay, so you, here it is. You got it uploaded. So let's click on over here. Okay, got that turned off. So here's your uh, here's your picture. Now when you click on this picture, it's going to give you a link, supposedly. Again, my computer's not treating me very well time-wise. So let's go back here to the album. Okay, this is the one we just did. Now here's, I uh, didn't mean to click on it, when you hover over this, it's going to give you the these links, it's going to give you a direct link, it's going to get you your HTML code, and you, a link you can, you can um, email. Here's your direct link, you just click on it, it says copied, you should be able to go up here, put it in. And there it is. Now this is still not clickable until you actually put it into something and and uh, create this clickable button. But that's that's all there is to uh, creating your image with uh, Microsoft Word. And again, like I say, if you've got an older version, I'm not exactly sure how how it works. Some of the things might be in different spots. Newer version, same thing. Mine is uh, Microsoft Word 2007 and uh, that's about it that's pretty easy to uh, design your own pages and and whatever um, using microsoft word so this is virgil cook signing off and i'll see you on my next video